Hello, pedal people. We have a special video today because we're looking at the Manticore version 2. Uh, but haven't we already looked at that with Harry and the guitar when Harry was here? And haven't we already said that it's one of the most brilliant pedals out there? It's pretty much an evolution of the K circuit. It's, an, it's a clon, but it's not a clon clon. It's an evolution of that because it's got the Savage knob and all that stuff. Now, yes, we looked at it. But there's also a slight tweak that it has undergone. And we also want to compare it to the higher priced, all hand wired, point to pointy kind of luxury version, which doesn't have the Savage knob. And, well, why am I talking about stuff you can't see? Bring! There we are. We have the. No, Leslie, it's not Pro Anal Org. It's a different website. Pro Anal Org Devices. It's not my joke, Leslie said it, okay? The girl's sick in the head, what can I do? Um, this is the Manticore, all hand-wired with, you know, leprechaun tentacles. I don't know what, ha I, it, it, versus PCB, I, I, I don't know. You guys know, apparently to some people it makes a difference. We're gonna find out what a difference it makes. What a difference a pedal makes. Um, and yeah, we have a, a level, level, treble, gain, and uh, drive. Well, drive is kind of like the clean drive, whereas gain is the dirt drive. You will find out, or you have found out if you've already watched the Manticore V2 video. Um, so on this is the Manticore V2, uh, which is not hand-wired. You can see that it has a Savage knob, which is kind of a gain for the bass. So you can actually dial out the bass a little bit, make it leaner. But if you dial it in, you also get more gain. It's pretty damn cool. Um, the gold version or the standard series version has a soft clicky switch, whereas the boutique hand-wired version, um, A has a different kind of a ring around the LED, and it has a hard clicky switch. Um, now I wait for the camera to roll back behind the pedal so we can actually look at the 9-volt, um, which is chassis mounted, which I absolutely like. That's the way to do it. Um, both pedals have top-mounted jacks, which is also very nice, nicely spaced. And as you can see right there, there's the chassis mounted nine volt, which is just the way to do it. But obviously that's what we expect on pedals of this price range. Now I can't tell you exactly what the price range is. I think the Mantico V2 usually is, depending on if they have a sale or not, 250 to 300, something around that. And then the silver one here is considerably more. Does it make a difference? We'll find out. We're gonna go into, let's see, kill that for a second. The Tone King Sky King as our first amp, and then we're gonna use a couple more just for fun because we can. And because a clony type E soundy is something that uh, I prefer to use with a strat, we're gonna use a variation of that. Just like the Manticore is an evolution of the clone, the Schecter Nick Johnston is an evolution of the S type with a wangier neck, locking tuners, custom shop, everything. Schecter made a very nice guitar with the new Jesus of the guitar, Mr. Johnston. So, um, like, why is there no but I have the tuner on? So which one do we start with? Well, apparently Leslie decided we start with a silver one. And here we go. That's my clean sound. to know about this guitar that it is very bright so the treble settings might not apply to you especially if you're playing humbuckers this could be your always on pedal 
just like the Stride and BTB from Pro Analog Devices. pleasing um let's flip it around and let look at the other one thank you so let's try to set it up just the same with the uh level here gain down there see where we put savage If I down Savage all the way back, I have very little bass, so I'm gonna maybe keep it in the middle. Obviously, the same sound category. And if I had to point out what the difference is, I don't know, but there is one. It, it's, it's very obvious. Do I want to see difference in fatness? No. Difference in gain? I don't know. bit more gain here, maybe dial the Savage back. pretty sure you can actually dial them to be almost exact but the thing is that that two percent where it's not almost exact that's where probably the hand wired mojo comes in what do i know thing is when you turn it off we're talking about i'm going into a three and a half thousand euro amp i mean come on it's an amazing amp but with it it's just slightly more amazing euro Let's go into more drastic settings. We'll stay here. 
see if I can confuse Leslie by turning that off and then turning the same one on again and she switches around. Let's see if, you know, I can trip her up. <laughs> but not it's strange <laughs> behavior there's this fuzzly wooliness in the in the drive on the silver one and here it's not it's a cleaner more tidy kind of sound say the word vintage i'm gonna say the word fuzz i'm gonna say the word pumpernickel i can say words <laughs> similar behavior because it dialed up the savage a little bit now I don't I don't know let's go more gain here <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
do behave quite differently. Interesting! It's pretty much the same thing, but it's not. Now, which one do you buy? I don't know! You make up your mind! Buy one of them, you have to. Because yeah, they're very, very, very good. Uh, we're gonna go into the, um, the, the weird little 1,000 euro 20 watt Marshall Studio Classics. I call it the Mini Plexi. And here we go. <laughs> Take that sound into a couple of amps, like the Marshall JCM 800. Here we go, which by itself actually is cranking like so. Ouchie! AC20 by Morgan sounds like so. Sounds amazing. Uh, orange rocker verb, which is orange and clean, should, re should retain its orangey mids. Yeah, it always gets orange, always gets fizzly. sound very 
different, more different in the orange than in other amps. Interesting. Uh, moving on to the Jet City Emilia. <laughs> Gonna go into the um, Rev D20, which right now has the gain knob pulled, so it's a little bit on the edge of breakup. Past breakup. Moving on to the Achilles Argos, which is very baseman JTM 45 vintage hand wired. So it's probably that pedal with that amp. I expect magic. <laughs> Tonking. So, what have we learned? Well, we learned that a manticore isn't a manticore. We learned that manticore is always awesome, but there is a difference between the two. Which one would you go for? I don't think one was better than the other, but they were different. So maybe this demonstration helped you to figure out which one you liked more. But then, of course, you also heard it with different amps, and clearly in different amps, it sounded very different. The orange always turns pedals into something fuzzier and more gainy. Um, this is so many variables that I just, I'm not going to give you any actual, I would go for this or this, because I got great sounds everywhere. What do I know? You heard it. Links below to Pro Analog devices. Thanks, Scotty, for sending these over. They are amazing. And if you're looking for a clone type pedal, frankly, for me, if I want the simple clone, it would be the One Platumnus because it's very small and it does deliver. If I want to spend the pedal board space, a tiny little bit more money, um, but also have a lot more flexibility because the Savage and the Drive knob really add whole new tonal possibilities but then also on the silver one it had something woollier that i don't know <sighs> uh, animals at the end <laughs> 